gold and silver after a massive gap down yesterday we have seen it recovering is strong and today we have seen the both the metals resuming the bull trend we have in fact seen gold hitting the double top levels towards 2758 while silver has also moved towards 34 12 levels can we expect another bullish day for the metals can we expect a rally to moon or it is going to drop what is going to be our strategy today in order to profit trading gold and silver we will see with the help of charts and indicators do a multi time frame analysis and arrive at the levels at which you can take a trade whether be it on the buy side or the sell side this is the only channel to give you two detailed reviews a day next update will be released before the us session the subscribe and press the bell icon. do like share and comment join the free telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on youtube to support the effort let's start first we'll look into gold followed with silver watch till so if you see the early charts of gold you can find out after the drop it is trading in this retracement channel where higher highs and higher lows are seen consistently i will not treat this as bullish as long as 27 58 27 60 levels are not taken yes very very important to note 27 58 27 60 levels are going to remain crucial for the day else what will happen drop retracement and if it breaches below 27.30, we can look forward to another round of good crash. Right now, the momentum is not very much supportive of such a stronger reversal. Also, second thing to note here is a very good support is formed at 27.40, which we should be cautious of. 27.40 is the only level below which you can say the bears will be active here. Else, I will say uh, a zone of 2740 to 2760 is where we have to remain extra cautious whether be it on the buy side or on the sell side because see these levels are are going to play a major role today any breakout above and below should be a good confirmation of a, a stronger move the stock i stick here as at the top while the moving averages are looking upwards trading with divergence this is a bullish sign while MACD is also supportive of same and the RSI and stock ISTIC are suggestive of slight bearishness here. When you see the two on the two hour charts also the observation is more or less same. Look at the waves here first wave, second wave, third top it can hit the bottom here. Where is the lows here towards 2735 and then a breakout confirmation is below 2730. So I will wait for it to confirm for a breakout and then take a position a stock has stick at the top trying to look downwards while look at the MACD crossing over at the bottom trading with divergence this is a good sign for further up move here and bullishness here rsi flat coming to three the observation is simple only thing here is the support it has got here at 27.40 which has now become a prime support level and we have to remain cautious at those levels if you notice this similar observation is seen here this is a retracement trend and it has to break this channel in order to confirm a reversal so 2758 2760 levels is the level it needs to break in order to confirm a massive breakout on the upside now if it breaks out beyond 2760 i will still say just be watchful till 2764 64.5 and if it stays above this, the target is going to be towards 27.71 and towards 27.82 levels today itself. Beyond this, we are looking forward to 2800 as well. But I will say this is still remaining the main trend and thus it has to break beyond 27.60-64 in order to confirm the breakout. Else it is still having lot much of bearishness. The stock has stick overbought and trying to cool down while the MACD has crossed over at the bottom and it is looking up first. This is good sign for the bulls. RSI comfortable and flat. When you see the 4R, notice the 4R charts. See this consolidation and then this. So this is how it has been trading. And if you see it at uh, 2742, we can say that should be the lows from which also you can say a bounce back can be expected but once it stays below 40 you can say bearishness towards 2736 2730 and a drop below 2730 is the confirmation of a crash here the stock i stick here at top the macd has crossed over this is again good sign for the bull so mixed indication is what we are getting from multiple time frames the rsi is staying flat not suggestive of anything coming to the daily 
And before we move to the daily charts, if you want to learn this art of trading, join my mentorship batch. And if you just want to trade as per the signals, be a part of my signals channel. Connect with me, write an email or ping me or telegram for your queries. And if you're looking forward to a broker which offers you a swap free account with lowest spreads and no hidden charges, you can find the recommended broker link also in the channel and video description. It is very, very important to have a broker which offers you a safer environment with easier transactions, easier withdrawals and yes, a regulated environment for you to trade comfortably. Do join it today and trade. enjoy trading with lowest spreads if you join through the link. Now on the daily, see first of all what it did today it has moved towards double top. Second thing is it has also filled the gap which it has shown yesterday and with that this gap filling and today's move two objectives are done a double top is done and the gap is filled. Now the bigger question is can we expect a complete reversal from here can we expect a massive drop where it can in fact move towards the higher lows higher lows means 2730 can we expect a move now for this to have a confirm we need to wait for it to break below 2740 27 and 2740 is going to be a very very good support and then 2736 if these two levels are taken we can expect 2730 and once the 2730 is taken stay short this time we will expect it to break below 2720 and then it will keep moving towards 20 period moving average and in fact lower which means 2700 2680 cannot be denied here yes a massive swing is what you can expect if it stays below 2740, 2730. Now where you should take a selling entry, you can in fact take a sell at 2744 itself. However, be alert till 2740. I will say uh, it has got a very, very good support there and thus prices can still reverse and continue to trade. Below 2740 is where we can see slight bearishness, expect 2736 and 2730 levels, below which you can expect a massive drop towards 2720 or lower levels. While on the buy side, now where to buy? See, ideally we have to wait for it to break beyond uh, 2758, 2760s. That is the only level above which we can say the bulls will be active here. But it is a distant level. You can uh, initiate a buying entry at 2754. However, this has to be strictly trailed as long as 275860 is not taken. This is going to be the first target zone. And a breakout above 2760 should take it towards 2764.5 levels. Beyond this, stay bullish for 2771 and 27. 82 levels beyond which 2800 is going to be the next milestone take your trades accordingly now let's move to silver. now if you track the movement for silver you will find a stronger bearish move retracement then a bearish move then a retracement now see look at the length of the bearishness here the bearishness had got diminished and that is where we have seen now the retracement beginning here barring this breakout it is trading in this retracement channel now it is very very important for silver to trade above 34 30 levels in order to confirm a reversal here as long as it stays below 27 30 we have to be cautious here with the buying trades because see it can still reverse what has happened here can get uh, replicated hitting to 34 30 as well if it continues to trade bullish now see it has formed a very good support now at 33 60 levels and thus a selling entry today in silver is only below 3360 also if you notice moving averages have crossed over here which is a good bullish sign stock i stick was overbought trying to cool the magd and rsi are comfortable though the magd is bullish while the rsi is right now looking downwards uh, looking at the move here and when you see the two hour charts the observation is more or less same it is trading under the retracement channel where are the lows for this channel towards 33 40 33 30 levels and this zone is now become critical also you can see a support is getting created at 33 60 thus the bearishness today in silver is only if it trades below 33 60 levels stochastic flat macd has crossed over here at the bottom it is trading with moderate divergence which suggests that there is a possibility of a further recovery here on the upside rsi comfortable on the three r charts when you see uh, the observation on the three r charts is more or less same only thing is 
the bullishness got diminished here look at these two candles a stronger bullish candle then a diminished body size suggests that now the bulls are not interested and that is where we have seen this initiating with a drop but remember what has happened one bullish candle retracement a flat base first bullish candle the bullinger bands have narrowed thus this could give a stronger reversal and continue to rally this is something which you, which you should be cautious of and once it reverses and if it trades above 34 30 levels you can say another massive rally on the upside can be expected where we can see it in fact breaking beyond the previous highs at 3480 if you look at the stock ISIC, this is flat the MACD has crossed over at the bottom trading with moderate divergence moderate bullishness the RSI is almost staying flat and on the four the observation more or less remains same only worry point is the diminishing bullishness here to green candles but with uh, diminishing body size suggests that the bulls appear to be a bit exhausted we have to exercise a bit of caution as long as 34 30 is not taken on the upside till 34 30 it has got greater resistances but yes you can buy if you see it is staying above 34 dollar levels you can initiate a buying entry if you look at the stock ISIC, this is rising the MACD has also crossed over this is a very good sign because see this is coming after a stronger drop and thus we can expect it to continue to recover rsi flat coming to the when you see the daily charts uh, you can say it is forming a base and it is ready for a recovery if you divide this into two see this candle and this candle almost identically symmetrical does the current candle if it delivers the symmetry it can show you the thing here what we had seen with this candle it can do, it can do the same and then rise here possibility exists here so looking at this as that is why i say as long as now 3360 levels are not taken we have to be cautious here with the cells remember uh, it is trading with a divergence from the 20 period moving average and once it stays below 3360 we can expect uh, 3340 3320 and then once it stays below 3320 we can expect a massive drop though the formation here appears to be reflecting or suggestive of a recovery here stock stick has dropped trying to bounce back the MACD is still in green it is it has converged but not it crossed over rsi has just come out of the overbought zone so looking where to buy i will recommend you to buy silver if you see it is staying above 34 when i say 34 the lower price has to be 34 and once it stays above 34 chances will be high that we may see it hitting 34 15 and 34 30 these two levels are going to play a very important role today any move beyond 34 30 is a good sign that uh, we are looking forward to record high levels or uh, near term record levels again where i will aspire silver well, i'll expect a silver to achieve 34 55 34 85 and in fact 35 dollar levels here however i will say at least till 34 30 you have to be cautious do not trade this as bullish on the downside a selling entry is only recommended if you see it is staying below 3360 below which we can expect it to move towards 3340 first 3322 and today 3340 3320 30, is going to remain the prime support zone a drop below the 4020 zone or 3340 3320 zone is where we can say more bearishness will be seen which can in fact take it towards 3280 3250 levels Take your trades accordingly, like, share, subscribe and comment. See you again before the US session with more detailed updates and a uh, review of what has happened throughout the day in the metals and what could be expected with the US session. Subscribe, press the bell icon, do like, share and comment. Join the free Telegram channel for live updates and join the channel memberships here on YouTube to support the effort. Thank you. Have a great profitable trading day.